Hola nuevos amigos, it's a wonderful day and I'm happy to see you. Me da mucho gusto en verlos. Today we will have a special lesson. We've learned so many new and interesting things as we've taken a tour through Latin American culture and history. I've enjoyed teaching you new verbs, vocabulary, and dialogues. Now it's time for a review. A review is an important part of learning because it gives us a chance to pause and look over all the things that we have learned. Get out your Spanish journals and be prepared to write down any information from our previous lessons that you might have missed. Saquen sus diarios de español y prepárense para escribir. In every lesson, we've had a verb of the day. Can you guess what today's verb will be? You've heard it two times while I've been talking to you. Let's go to the verb of the day. El verbo del día. El verbo del día es repasar. To review, repasar. Let's conjugate the verb repasar. To review. Yo repaso. I review. Tú repasas. You review. Él, ella repasa. He, she reviews. Usted repasa. You review formal. Nosotros repasamos. We review. Ustedes repasan. You all review. In lesson one, we learned how Latin American culture is all around us and how our communities, our history, and many businesses reflect the influence of Latin American culture. The verb of the day was visitar, to visit. And in our first dialogue, our students used the sentences, ¿A dónde quieres visitar? Where do you want to visit? And, yo quiero visitar el mercado y la tortillería. I want to visit the market and the tortilla factory. Lesson one's vocabulary included the terms el restaurante, the restaurant, la tienda de novias, the bridal store, la taquería, the taco stand, El Salón de Belleza, the beauty salon. La Panadería, the bakery. La Frutería, the fruit stand. We learned the word for market, el mercado, and the tortilla factory, la tortillería, in our first dialogue. We also learned about folk dancing, ballet folclorico, where we learned how to say bailar, to dance and la música, music. In our second dialogue, we used the conjugated form of the verb visitar. We said, nosotros visitamos, meaning we visit. In lesson two, we learned how people from Latin American countries immigrated to the United States and started new lives. The verb of the day was mudarse, to move. In our first dialogue, our students used the sentences, ¿A dónde te mudas? Where are you moving to? And, yo me mudo a California. I am moving to California. We also used the sentence, Mi hermana se mudó a California el año pasado. My sister moved to California last year. Lesson two's vocabulary included the terms la inmigración, immigration, la libertad, liberty, la revolución, revolution, el dictador, dictator, la canción, song, el cantante, singer, La orquesta, orchestra. La banda, band. 
We also learn the words el cementerio, cemetery, muerto, dead, la celebración, celebration. In our second dialogue, the students use the following sentences and use the verb gustar, to like. ¿Qué tipo de música te gusta? What type of music do you like? A mí me gusta la música latina. I like Latin music. ¿Y qué tipo de música le gusta a tu papá? And what type of music does your father like? In lesson three, we learned about the history of the modern Mexican mercados and how you can find and buy a great variety of products. The verb of the day was regatear, to bargain, and in our first dialogue, our students used the sentences, ¿Cuánto cuesta el cinturón? How much is the belt? And, el cinturón cuesta 100 pesos. The belt costs 100 pesos. Lesson 3's vocabulary included the terms la hierba, herb, el propietario, proprietor, owner, el puesto, stall, la cerámica, pottery, el nopal, cactus leaf, la naranja, orange, el tomate, tomato, la manzanilla, chamomile. We also learn the words los muebles, furniture, la manta, blanket, la canasta, basket, la olla, pot, los huaraches, sandals, el sombrero, hat. In the second dialogue, the students used the following sentences and conjugated the verb regatear, to bargain. La hierba que mi mamá usa es la manzanilla. The herb my mother uses is chamomile. And ella regatea por la manzanilla en la hierbería. She bargains for chamomile at the herbal shop. Wow! We've reviewed three lessons, so I think it's time for a break. Let's stand up, breathe deep, and stretch and wiggle our hands and shoulders. Stretch high, stretch low. Now have a seat. Relax for a moment and watch this. The first reports to reach Europe about a game played in the New World with a solid rubber ball, La Pelota, which astonished the Spanish conquistadors, was Uyamalitzli. This was the ball game played by the Aztecs and other Nahuatl speaking peoples in Mexico. The name is a combination of two words. Uyama, which means the playing of a game with a ball, and Uyi, rubber. The Ulama was the juego de pelota, the ball game. Only men played that, and they, and they were very athletic. They were um, training and training every day to be uh, like in a league, uh, competing one community with the other, one school with another school, like here, among schools. The ball was made of chicle, of um, like gum, the, the, the rubber that comes out of a tree, and they will build it little by little, so it was heavy. And um, they had to play, they hit, hit the ball with their hips, not with their hands, just with their hips and shoulders, or the back. And they had to, like in basketball, they had to put the ball in the center of this, stone that was in the center of the field. The game could also be played using the arms and elbows to deflect the ball with a stick or with a manopla, a handstone used to bat the ball. 
I enjoyed that, didn't you? Now, let's get back to our review. In lesson four, we took a journey back in time and began looking at the history of the ancient indigenous peoples of Latin America. We studied the ancient Aztec civilization. Que interesante! The verb of the day was construir, to build. And in our first dialogue, our students used the following sentences and conjugated the verb construir. ¿Cómo llego a el palacio? How do I get to the palace? And, primero, váyase hacia el norte. En el templo que ellos construyen, váyase hacia el oeste. First, go north. At the temple they are building, go west. Lesson 4's vocabulary included the terms antiguo, ancient, el valle, valley, la pirámide, pyramid, el palacio, palace, el templo, temple, la calle, street, El canal. Canal. We also learned the words la isla, island, el lago, lake, el guerrero, warrior, el águila, eagle, el jaguar, jaguar, el oro, gold, la tierra. Earth, la pelota, ball, la cancha, ball court. In lesson five, we learned about the Mayan civilization and how they perfected their calendar, how they were the first to use the zero and the kinds of food they ate. The verb of the day was ver, to see, and in our first dialogue, our students used the sentences ¿Qué ves? What do you see? And, ahora yo veo la constelación de Orión. Now, I see the constellation Orion. Our new vocabulary included the terms El observatorio, observatory. El sistema solar, the solar system. La constelación constellation, el planeta, planet, el eclipse, eclipse, la estrella, star, la luna, moon, Venus, Venus. We also learned the words for mountain, la montaña, swamp, el pantano, Jungle, la selva, chili pepper, el chile, corn, el maíz. In our second dialogue, the students used the following sentences and conjugated the verb ver, to see. Ella está en el observatorio. She's at the observatory. ¿Qué ve? What does she see? And, ella ve el planeta Venus. She sees the planet Venus. The Inca civilization was our focus for lesson six. We saw how their empire had highways and roads that stretched over 2,500 miles. How they kept records and sent messages from place to place using men that traveled on foot called chasqui runners. The verb of the day was correr, to run, and in the first dialogue, our students used the sentences ¿A dónde corres? Where are you running to? And Yo corro a el puente. I am running to the bridge. Our new vocabulary included the terms El emperador, emperor, la tribu, tribe, La carretera, highway, 
el ejército. Army. El imperio. Empire. La plata. Silver. El cobre. Copper. El bronce. Bronze. El metal. Metal. We also learn the words for la altitud. Altitude. Alta. High or tall. El puente. Bridge. Las escaleras. Stairs or steps. In the second dialogue, the students used the following sentences and conjugated the verb hacer, to make. ¿Qué haces? What are you making? Yo hago una pulsera. I'm making a bracelet. As you will remember, the ancient Aztecs, Mayans, and Incas were great civilizations that still influence our society today. In Lesson 7, we learned how Spanish spread throughout the New World when the explorers and the conquistadors from Spain came to the Americas and began to communicate with the indigenous peoples. We also learned how Spanish architecture of the 17th century influenced the design of buildings, churches, and homes. The verb of the day was explorar, to explore. And in the first dialogue, our students used the sentences Yo tengo ollas. ¿Qué tienes tú? I have pots. What do you have? And Yo tengo maíz. ¿Quieres intercambiar? I have corn. Would you like to trade? Our new vocabulary included the terms El indígena indigenous, el lenguaje, language, castellano, Spanish, el traductor, translator. We also learned the words for la colonia, colony, el conquistador, conqueror, la expedición, expedition, la Arquitectura, architecture. In our second dialogue, the students used the following sentences. Yo tengo chiles. ¿Quieres intercambiar? I have chilies. Would you like to trade? And, claro, te doy un collar por una docena de chiles. Of course, I'll give you one necklace for a dozen chilies. In lesson eight, we looked at the beautiful country of Costa Rica, whose name means rich coast. We learned about ecotourism and how the ox carts of Sarchi became Costa Rica's national symbol of labor and industry. The verb of the day was viajar, to travel. And in the first dialogue, our students used the sentences, a donde quieres viajar? Where do you want to travel? And, yo quiero viajar a Costa Rica. I want to travel to Costa Rica. Our new vocabulary words included the terms la costa, coast, el café, coffee, el volcán, volcano, la confederación, confederation, El trigo, wheat. El buey, ox. La carreta, cart. We also learn the words el ecoturismo, ecotourism. La lluvia, rain. Los temporales, rainy spell. Los aguaceros, heavy rain. El Veranillo, sudden dry period. La caminata, hike. In our second dialogue, we conjugated the verb viajar. We used the sentences, ¿A dónde viaja tu hermano? 
Where is your brother traveling to? And Él viaja a Sarchi. He will travel to Sarchi. Lesson 9 took us to Panama, where we learned about the Panama Canal and its importance in shipping goods all over the world by taking a shortcut to get back and forth between the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. We also learned how Panamanians celebrate Carnival, and we took a look at the folk art and designs of molas. The verb of the day was cruzar, to cross. And in our first dialogue, our students used the sentences, ¿Puedo cruzar el canal? Can I cross the canal? And, Yo voy hacia el oeste, a México. I'm going west, to Mexico. Our new vocabulary words included the terms, El canal, canal. El golfo, golf. El Istmo, Isthmus, La Bahía, Bay, El Tesoro, Treasure, El Pirata, Pirate. We also learned the words La Blusa, Blouse, El Diseño, Design, El Cuadro, Frame, El disfraz, costume. El carnaval, carnival. El tambor, drum. In our second dialogue, we use the sentences. ¿Tienes el disfraz listo? Do you have your costume ready? And, sí, mi disfraz es de pirata. Yes. My costume is a pirate. Let's take another break and enjoy some dancing with the Anita Martinez Ballet Folklorico group. I think you'll like this. I discovered that I was a dancer when I was about six or seven years old when uh, my uh, friend that lived next door and I used to put on performances in her front porch for the people going by. Folk dancing is a type of traditional communal dancing passed down from generation to generation in a social or recreational atmosphere. I saw the need for our, our Hispanic children, our Mexican American children to uh, feel pride and to learn about their rich cultural heritage. Folk dance uses traditional costumes and accessories which aids in preserving our link to our cultural heritage. These types of dances include war, contest, courtship, wedding, holiday, and religious dances. There are also dances for the fun of movement alone. I had been to see uh, the Amalia Hernandez Ballet Folklorico in Mexico City in the 60s and I was trying to figure out what can I do to make our young people learn and know about who they are. I think that it, it is one of the most satisfying um, arts, uh, professional and performing arts, is dance because your body is the instrument and you have to be in, in good health to be a good dancer. Also, it teaches you uh, discipline it teaches you self-confidence, it teaches you to be responsible, it teaches you uh, uh, to be a team player. But there are uh, about 26 different regions of dance, and so everybody has their own little uh, uh, personal style of dance. You know, like in Chiapas, there's one style, in Guadalajara, it's another style, and, and you know, the different regions of Mexico. So. Uh, it's, uh, there's a little bit of it for everyone. We've learned a lot in our first 10 lessons, and I hope you've had a lot of fun as you've expanded your Spanish vocabulary and learned how to speak and write. Are you ready for more lessons, Nuevos Amigos? Well, 
I hope so, because I'm looking forward to teaching you our next unit. Now, turn to a new page in your Diarios de Español and put on your thinking cap, because it's time for your student composition. I want you to imagine that you can travel back in time. Choose one of the places and times we have visited and write about it. What are the people like? What kind of food do they eat? What do their buildings look like? What is their government like? Is there anything special about them? Use as many Spanish vocabulary words as you can and work on this assignment before we meet again for our next series of lessons. Muy bien, nuevos amigos. I'm so proud of you. You've worked hard on our first 10 lessons and have accomplished so much. You've done an excellent job. Han hecho un trabajo excelente. If you have any interesting information or fun ideas about Latin American culture and history, then I'd like to hear from you. Write me a message and have your teacher email it to me. Mándame un correo electrónico. The email address is nuevosamigos at dallasisd.org. Remember, when you learn to speak another language, you also make new friends. Acuérdense, cuando aprendemos más de un idioma, podemos hacer nuevos amigos. Cuídense. Y hasta la próxima.